Warthog. Warthogs can usually be found in the grassy savannas of Africa. Warthogs remind me a bit of pigs. That's because warthogs and pigs come from the same family. Can you spot any differences, Marco? Well, warthogs have got tusks. One, two, three, four of them? And look, warthogs have got bumps on their face, but the pigs don't. Some people think those bumps look like huge warts. That's why they're called warthogs. Will I get warts if I touch them? Definitely not, Marco. Do warthogs have longer legs than pigs? They do. That must come in useful when they're running away. Run, warthog, run! Warthogs also do something with their tails. Ah, they're lifting them up. That's to warn the others of danger. Don't get me wrong, pigs are great. But I just love everything about warthogs. Warts and all. <laughs> Round. Now, let's tap. Bat eared fox. Bat eared foxes are found in short grass plains throughout eastern and southern Africa. <laughs> That fox is fast asleep. That's a bat-eared fox, Gorby. Unlike other foxes, bat-eared foxes are very sociable. And they love eating termites. Toasted termites, termite pie, termite ice cream. It's got really big ears. That's to help with thermoregulation, Gorby. Thermal regulation? Bat-eared foxes live in very hot climates, and their ears help them keep a good body temperature. Animals with large ears lose heat through their ears, so they don't get too hot. That's thermal regulation. Lots of animals have large ears for exactly the same reason. I know an animal in the savanna that has big ears. Which one, Gorby? The African elephant. That's right. Their ears help with thermoregulation, too. Yes, I thought so! Oops. Sorry, bad-eared fox. I'll let you go back to sleep again so you can dream about termites. Now, let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with... Baboon. Baboons can be found across Africa and parts of Arabia. Baboons are terrestrial monkeys. Terrestrial. That means they spend most of their time on the ground. Hey, that young baboon is biting its mom. <laughs> it looks like that's what's happening, Chester. But the baboon is actually being helpful. Helpful? How? Baboons groom each other. Grooming is how animals take care of their fur. They help each other remove bugs, such as ticks. That's so helpful. Baboons are very sociable animals. So grooming is like hanging out with your friends. It looks like those two are play fighting. Watch out, young baboon. That branch is too thin to hold all of you. I guess that's one way to learn. Oh, hey, Nash. Can you check me for ticks? Ew, no. That's not very sociable. <laughs> Let's spell. 
Warthog. Cheetah. Cheetahs live in the open grasslands of East and Southern Africa. <laughs> Cheetahs are the fastest land mammal. Are they faster than me? As fast as a car, Lily. Okay, faster than me. How do they do it? I want some tips. Their bodies are designed for speed. This cheetah has a small looking head. Does that help with speed? Yes. A cheetah's small head and slender body help them cut through the air. Like a paper airplane. Whoosh! Cheetahs have really long legs. So that must help them. It really helps. Okay, uh, long legs. What else do I need to run as fast as a cheetah? You need a long tail and claws that never retract. So you can make quick turns without slipping. Let me try a quick turn. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so, I need some cheetah claws, long legs, a small head, and a long tail to run fast. You know, I think I'm happy just as I am. Feeding time! Mmm. Gazelles live on open savannas throughout Africa. That's a gazelle. I've been learning about gazelles. Gazelles eat fresh grass and they're very graceful creatures. They are, Chester. They have to be careful, though. Gazelles have lots of predators, including cheetahs and lions. Why aren't they hiding? Gazelles are very fast. They rely on speed to outrun their predators. They can run as fast as a car. Look! They're bouncing off the ground. That's called pronking. Before they run, gazelles often jump in the air, lifting all four feet off the ground and arching their back. Scientists think pronking is to show they're healthy and fit. So predators looking for an easy catch might think twice about chasing them. <laughs> Pronking looks like good fun. Hey, gazelles! Wait for me! Let's pronk together!